be demonstrating how to take uh, semi-ripe tip cuttings on the example of this um, Dombea Mauritiana. Simply, um, you take the material off quite generously. It's very important to reduce uh, the leaf surface as the material will now not have any own water supply. Uh, the final cut is done just underneath a note. Quickly it will go into the jar. We again using our propagation medium, which is made of 70% coir and 30% perlite. Every single cutting will now be dipped into some rooting mormon. It's much better to keep them close together so that their own little microenvironment and it quickly goes into some water where we will soak it. The ideal time for division is usually when plants are beginning to enter active growth. Uh, and this, this is very dependent on the plant that you're growing. Uh, many plants put on growth after flowering, therefore the perfect uh, time to divide plants is after they flower cause as little root disturbance as humanly possible, but you may need to cut into certain root balls and prise apart roots. The potting mix that I'd use for this, I'd use Q's general potting mix, which is much like a multi-purpose compost, uh, and I'd mix that with our propagation mix. Now I always like to leave a rim about a centimetre gap at the top of the pot, and that just makes watering the plant a little bit easier. the Proteaceae family, only distributed in the Southern Hemisphere. They've got one particular thing in common, that these inhabit um, areas that are subject to seasonal fires. And these seasonal fires are very important for their germination process. These need to be diluted in water. Once it looks nice and green, as in a jar, we take the uh, seeds, drop it into the jar. We need to keep the seeds in there for about eight hours. So most of this pot is now filled um, with our general proteaceae compost. We're going to take a much finer medium, which is our general seed sowing compost. And last but not least, what we will do is we will cover this of horticultural grit. These seeds are quite large and ever so often they push themselves out of the soil so we weigh them down with a bit more grit just as another top layer. It's good to go into the water to soak. In order to produce an air layer I'm going to make a wound just under the cambium to expose it. I've applied plant hormone to the wound that I created with my knife in order to promote callus, which is like a plant scab, which will then produce roots. I'm using spag moss, which is really wet, and that's going to be packed right around where that wound is. Clear plastic will allow me to see when the roots are formed. It will take at least three months. On the top, I like to leave a funnel, so if it does start getting dry, I can apply some more water. We can use black plastic to wrap around it and this will encourage the root growth because very few plants produce roots in light conditions. In about three months time I'll be able to cut it underneath and I've got a whole new plant here and when we've got endangered plants the more plants we can produce the better.